Dear friends, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. I am Pastor Garrett Mao, pastor at Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Farmington Hills, Michigan. If you enjoy the comfort and the hope these services bring, please click the subscribe button on your YouTube channel to receive future editions. Or join us at Prince of Peace F. Hills. May our Lord Jesus Christ bless you this day. Oh, glory, Lord. that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made us his light to shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will give thanks to you. You are my God, I will extol you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Reading our epistle is Kim Rim.
The reading is the Epistle to the Philippians, chapter 2, starting at verse 5. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. This is the word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel is read from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 21. Now when they draw near to Jerusalem and came to Bethphage, to the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, you shall say the Lord needs them, and he will send them at once. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet, saying, Say to the daughter of Zion, Behold, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a beast of burden. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put them on their clothes, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest! And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. This is the gospel of our Lord. Grace, mercy, and peace be yours from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, brothers and sisters in our Lord, if you are a part of the Jesus Welcoming Committee, please raise your palms high. And if you don't have a palm leaf, and you welcome Jesus inside your heart, just take the palm of your hand and raise it high. Raise it high. For today we cheer Jesus as he humbly rides a donkey towards our Lord's temple. And brothers and sisters, you are this temple of our Lord. If you love the Lord Jesus, Raise your palm high and cheer him as he humbly takes residence inside your heart to rule. Yes, today. Today is the day to shout Hosanna to the Son of David. Today is the day to shout blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Today we cry Hosanna to the highest. Setting the stage for our Palm Sunday celebration is Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus had died just a few weeks, maybe a couple of months before Palm Sunday. And at Lazarus' funeral, there were a good number of mourners who said, I thought Jesus was his friend. Jesus could have come sooner. Jesus could have averted Lazarus' death. Don't bother Jesus. He simply doesn't care. Well, People ask, does Jesus care? In this day where we suffer from COVID-19 restrictions and illness and fears, does Jesus care? I can't say I've heard people say it this time around, but from other incidences in life in the past, I've heard people complain, 
Why is God inflicting us? We should sue God. Why is God punishing us? I have no word from God saying that he is inflicting us with this COVID-19 virus. I have no word from God that he is punishing us. I am convinced that it is total propaganda to say God caused these troubles. The scriptures, however, do speak of sin and disobedience entering our world. And this sin and this disobedience rattles all corners of Mother Earth. That means not only our bodies suffer illness in this process of aging, the Earth herself suffers corruptions. And these corruptions produces pandemics like we are now experiencing. So don't sue God. Sue anyone whose ears listen to other voices than the voice of God alone. Sue yourself, for all have sinned and all have fallen short of the glory of God. I do, however, have a word from the Lord that he will take misfortune and rearrange it for the benefit of those who love God. Lazarus died and Jesus came to comfort Martha and Mary. Jesus does more than comfort. He raises hope and confidence in a life that is eternal in goodness and in blessing. Jesus is the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in him, though one die, yet shall one live, and everyone who lives and believes in him shall never die. Do you believe this? Do you believe that after these coming weeks that are going to feel grayer than the Michigan weather can be, that our Lord will lead you to light and life in his name. And take your palm branches and raise them high. Shout, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Thank God. Thank God that we have a government working to keep you as safe as any government can do. Thank God we can stay home and have soap to wash our hands off and while singing happy birthday to time how long we should lather and wash. Thank God we have food. We even have toilet paper. Thank God for a medical community that does care and is working hard to minimize COVID-19 virus so that we don't have a repeat of the magnitude of the Spanish influenza of a century ago. Thank God for the many who are taking risks so that you may stay home and be safe. Thank God that he knows you by your personal name. Jesus called Lazarus by name. And Lazarus came out of the tomb walking and talking. The story of Jesus raising a dead man spread faster in Jerusalem than any violence. It set the stage for his Palm Sunday parade, humbly riding on a donkey. It is because of that resurrection that crowds are ready to greet him. Our text says crowds went before Jesus, Crowds followed Jesus. They put their coats on the road, honoring Jesus as their Lord of Lords and their King of Kings, our help, our salvation. Now the high priest sure wasn't happy with Jesus. He joined many others in wanting Jesus dead, in wanting Jesus not only out of their lives, but out of everybody's lives. The high priest said, one man should die for the people, not that the whole nation should perish. And yet, God is more powerful than those who want him dead and out of their lives. For God so loved you, dear friend, that he sent you, his one and only Son, that should you put your faith in him and believe in his name, you should not perish. You will not perish because he rides into Jerusalem to perish in your place. And he will rise to give you eternal life with God. So raise your palms high. 
evil and corruption may get its way today and tomorrow, but the third day belongs to the Lord. And so the stage is set for the Passover lamb to be sacrificed. The people raise their palms high, crying, help us, save us. Lord, you are present in our lives, and we praise your name. But what happens when he is betrayed and taken away? What happens when we are denied his presence, or at least we think we are denied his presence? The stage is set for the Passover lamb to be sacrificed. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Scripture teaches us the importance of a disciplined life. Jesus, Jesus calls this self-denial. He doesn't teach that we be deprived. He doesn't teach that we be depraved. He teaches the discipline of self-denial. He says, if anyone would come after me, let one deny oneself and take up one's cross and follow me. For whoever would save one's life will lose it. But whoever loses one's life for my sake will find it. Self-denial can take the look of staying six feet from one another and waving and smiling, saying hi in these times. Self-denial might mean phoning people, calling them who you know who are alone, who are suffering, checking in on them with love, hope, and care. Jesus rides into Jerusalem as Israel's king. Now the Roman warrior would ride into Jerusalem galloping on a horse. And the Roman warrior rides in to rule by means of brute force. But Jesus rides with genuine peace. Can you hear him riding on the donkey? Clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. Why do Israel kings ride donkeys? It is because they are under the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And though Christ Jesus is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, he submits entirely to his heavenly Father as supreme. His heavenly Father's will is for Jesus to ride on a donkey and to give God's people peace and security. Because Jesus does this, he is righteous. He is without sin. He is pure. He therefore is qualified to be the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And those who die with him will also rise with him. Now people are sure fickle. One day we hear the cry, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And the next day it's crucify him. Crucify him. We see in the political world how suddenly a person rises or falls. We see it in our daily attitudes. We see among people of faith. One day confessing the Savior the next day, cursing the Savior. Though we often prove ourselves fickle, Jesus proves himself constant and faithful. He sets his face to earn our forgiveness. He sets the rhythm of human salvation to the clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop of humbleness before the Lord all the way to the cross. Do you need his constancy? Do you need his faithfulness? Do you need his forgiveness and his blood that cleanses you from all charges of fickleness, granting an eternity of life of God? So take your palm branch and raise it high. Cry, Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Will you join with me for prayer? Jesus, I lift my palm high, welcoming you as the Lord and King of my life. 
You alone have the right to my life. I am yours. Jesus, I lift my palm high, welcoming you as my Savior. You alone are the sufficient lamb to take even my sins away. Sometimes I don't understand misfortune, but I know you are present with your help and deliverance. Into your hands I commit my life. You will work all things out for my eternal benefit, and so I will cry, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. I lift my palm to honor you. In your name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. We now hear the praise band, praising our Lord with the song, Hosanna, praises rising. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, 
who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are not the cause of our infliction with COVID-19. You are, however, our help. You have sent your Son to redeem our world for the sake of his innocent suffering and death, accomplishing not only our salvation, but the eternal restoration of our whole world, free from any damaging pestilence. Hear our prayers for your mercy and for your help. We pray your healing upon those who are ill from COVID-19 or from any other illness or cause. And if this is not your will to bring such healing, your will be done in drawing souls into your eternal care in ways people may live with their illness to your glory until you call us to your eternal home. Continue strengthening El Spicer as he continues his recovery in a recovery center. Give a special measure of your presence and trust for those who live alone or in senior centers. Protect all people who are not ill from illness. Grant our governor, our president, and especially all their advisors extra wisdom, discernment, and constancy as they navigate this pandemic. <coughs> Strengthen your church throughout the world. Give us ears to hear and hearts to follow your Son. Grant us strength to carry out the task you give us while granting us the ability to place in your care what is beyond us. Grant us pastors and church workers who teach us your word for these times, that we be led to live our lives under your grace and enjoy your peace that passes all human understanding. We pray you keep our congregation in your care. We pray you to keep Pastor and Joan Shum in your care as you prepare them to come into our midst. Grant your protection to all laboring so hard so that many of us may stay home and stay safe, especially those in medical fields and in disease research, those in manufacturing equipment for the needs of these days, for those involved in keeping abundant our food supplies, our gasoline supplies, and the energy we use to power our homes, those involved in the National Guard, military police, firefighters, and first responders. We thank you for these servants, and we pray you uphold them and their families. Uphold and grant your sustaining all who find themselves unemployed and unable to pay bills, that they may seek and receive what help there is, and that misery because of inability to make an income may be minimized. Lord God, we lift our palms this day, crying, Hosanna, Lord save us. For Jesus rides into Jerusalem with our salvation. He rides to the cross to atone for our sins, and he will rise again to gather us as your people. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. We join together in praying the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. A few brief announcements. God willing, we will have worship services for Holy Thursday and Good Friday uh, later this week. Please watch our e-blast on these days with our worship service information. 
Again, these will be taped services that you may watch on YouTube or listen audible. We are not gathering in the actual sanctuary for worship. And please do call me if you take ill or if you need groceries, medicines, or otherwise assistance and have no one to help you. We have volunteers on hand to make sure you have what you need as you stay home and stay safe under Christ's grace. You just need an ear to listen to. If you find that you're unemployed or just concerned, give me a call. I'll listen and we'll have an opportunity to pray together. Our Lord Jesus Christ bless you and keep you in this, the most sacred of all weeks. Amen.